streamline that communication directly with the Chinese families, not just at a government-to-government -government level. And uh, you've appointed uh, a Chinese special envoy just for this. Who's that person? Um, Chiu Mei Fan. I know her personally. Um, honest, hardworking, decent, has a good heart. Um, I suggested her to the, to the cabinet and all of them uh, uh, agreed. If that inquiry, if that international panel does indeed find gaps of credibility, will you hold those people accountable and how far could that accountability travel? Of course, but uh, like I said, if it means that corroborated evidence, verified, uh, verified information by uh, competent, intelligent, uh, um, agencies from around the world um, has made what we decided uh, become a reality at that particular, any particular point in time. And we, we still went wrong. I will find all of them accountable, not just the Malaysians, but the experts. And like I said, there have been 26 nations and God knows how many agencies Quick questions for you now. Do we know, and are you still sticking to the conclusion that it was a deliberate act? It seems that way, um, because um, the four areas that the police are looking into, possible terrorists, uh, angle, hijacking, um, personal problems, or psychological uh, uh, dimension of it and that is being shared by all the intelligence agencies around the world. Do you believe that there could be survivors? People are asking this question. Or Not up to me. Miracles do happen. So at, at this stage uh, of the uh, search, where we are searching, um, the challenges, weather, um, a huge area that needs to be covered. That was my biggest fear, actually. I was hoping that um, leads would take us up to the Northern Corridor. The Northern Corridor, we understand that search, has it been completely disbanded? And if so, does that mean that that's, that is no longer an option? I believe that all the radar information is going through uh, on a daily basis, uh, military and, and civil, but um, nothing, no leads. What we do know is that the FBI has more or less indicated through you that the flight simulator that the captain home built mm. does not reveal any incriminating evidence, yeah. that there is nothing concrete to link him to this deliberate act. Can we therefore discount the psychological after speaking to his family have you actually eliminated him from the inquiry? That is why our focus is to find more information. And uh, the questions that are being asked with regards to deliberate acts, whether it involves individuals in the passenger or the crew manifest list, all that uh, will really come out to light when we actually find a black box. That sudden left turn, yes. that turn back, yes. that obviously appears to be a, a critical missing element. Yes. That period of time and why? Um, there was now very clear a deliberate uh, air turn back. And now, uh, for whatever reason, um, we, need, we are trying to establish the plane actually ended in the, in the uh, 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 Indian Ocean. So all that seems to, to indicate that um, efforts to look at how that could have happened um, without somebody in the plane doing that uh, must be revisited. We understand also that Malaysian officials have spoken directly to the families saying yes. that there is a, a sealed pack of evidence that they can't make public. Why have you chosen or why has your government chosen not to make that public and what is inside that pack? The, the reason why we cannot do that is basically at the end of the day we are going to be answerable to international inquiries and part of this information might be used um, for uh, ongoing investigation. 
in seeking the truth, yes. is there a timetable which you can at least establish, a framework that at least you can work with not only the wider public, but of course, more importantly, with the families themselves? I was under the impression that the families didn't want me to talk about the black box, to talk about deep sea surveillance. But from the families themselves also, they have asked me about technology, uh, how do we do retrieve the black box after 30 days, how are we going to retrieve the black box now, talking about technology, about looking at uh, satellite images. So basically there is that dilemma where the family is hoping against hope and not wanting to accept that which I can appreciate, but at the same time they want to have this technique, they want to have some form of answers for this. Do you think it's possibly an indication that in their mind somewhere there is a gentle shift perhaps, or a beginning of a shift, that from hope there's also a reserve pocket of their mind that's dedicated to maybe they're not here? That's always that. As every day goes by, uh, and this is a, a process that they will have to go through in grieving, in doubts, in anger, in acceptance, and everybody deals with it differently. So basically that, that uh, mass will have to do a better job in engaging those families. Do you think since you brought it up, that by sending text messages in English, I think that MAS has put you in a very, very difficult position. No, oh, I think MAS, MAS, MAS have got to uh, face up to their own responsibility. That has nothing to do with uh, the job that I have to do or the responsibility of the Malaysian government. But just putting MAS uh, uh, on the uh, um, uh, witness stand, um, we also need to bear in mind what is the role and the responsibility of uh, Rolls-Royce, of Boeing, of all these experts, uh, agencies. Where is their voice? Because at the end of the day, it's very easy to target people. I'm not defending mass. They will have to answer to their, about their SMS and the way they translate things and how they engage with the families. But at the same time, I want to see the international agencies also stand out there because we pay millions of dollars to buy the aeroplanes, fly the engines, pay for their expertise, and now those technology is being questioned by the world. You're about to go off to Hawaii to go to the ASEAN Defence Ministers plus United States. Yes. And, and while you're there, you're also going to meet with the US Pacific Fleet Command. Tell us about this and what are you going to be asking of them apart from thanking them? That is uh, to locate the black box within the 30 days. We're talking about um, towing pinging locators and vessel pinging locators that uh, tr will try and track the signals that are emitting from the black box. and. Um, I've uh, uh, indicated this to the Chinese leadership too, and they are assisting us in that respect. The Americans are already on board. Minister, thank you very much.